Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about how to multiply polynomials. This is going to be part one of a two-part video. Earlier I talked about how to add and subtract polynomials. Now let's look at how to multiply them. So when you multiply terms in polynomials, what you want to keep in mind is that if the terms have the same variable, like they're both x's or they're both y's, um, you want to go ahead and keep the variable the same, but add the exponents together. That's the little trick. So let's look at a couple examples on how that's done. So I have three different examples. Let me use the same color so it's easier to tell. First one says 6x times 5x. So we have the same variable, they're both x's, and we're multiplying, multiplying them together. So the easy part is the numbers because you just multiply the numbers together. 6 times 5 is 30. Now since they're both x's, we have x to the first and x to the first. We're going to keep the x and we're going to add the exponents together. 1 plus 1 is 2. And here's my answer, 30x squared. OK, simple enough. Let's look at a little bit more challenging problem with a couple more variables. I'm going to change colors again. All right, so 7abc times 4bc. So the thing about this you have to keep in mind is that not all of the variables are the same. And that's all right. When you're adding and subtracting terms, they have to be the same. But when you're multiplying them, they don't have to be the same. So let's take a look at this one. I'm going to start with the numbers. 7 times 4 is 28. For the variable a, there's only one a, so I'm just going to leave that and write it down, a. For the b, there's b to the first times b to the first. Well, the rule is you keep the variable and you add the exponents. And so 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we have c. We have c to the first and c to the first. So keep the c, add the exponents, 1 plus 1 is 2. So the final answer to this one is 28a b squared c squared. Okay? Let's jump over to our last example and the most difficult of the three. And so we have a similar problem. And so we're going to start with the numbers. 17 times 2 is 34. And let's see, we have f squared and we have a single f to the first. So I'm going to put down f and I'm going to add the exponents. 2 plus 1 is 3. That is a better looking 3 there. All right. And then g, there's only one g, so I'm just going to copy it down. And then we have h to the third and h to the fourth. So we're going to multiply those together by adding the exponents. 3 plus 4 is 7. And so this is my final answer. 34 f to the third, g h to the seventh. So that's one type of multiplying polynomials. Let's look at another type. We have two separate examples. This one actually involves what's called the distributive property. The distributive property tells you that you have a term multiplied by something in parentheses. And the way that works is you take the term on the outside and you multiply it by each of the terms on the inside. And so what I like to do is draw kind of arrows. I'm going to take 6x and multiply it by 7x. Well, 6 times 7 is 42. x to the first times x to the first is x to the second, because you add the exponents. And then I'm going to take x or 6x and multiply it by negative 6z. So 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. And then x and z are different variables, so I can just basically copy them down. You can't add exponents if the variables are different. You have to leave them the same. So please keep that in mind. And this is my final answer. 42x squared minus 36xz. So we have 3h to the third times this expression in parentheses. So I'm going to take 3h to the third. I'm going to multiply by the first term. 3 times 6 is 18. And h to the third and z are different variables. So I'm just going to write them down, copy them down. Okay, And then I'm going to take the 3h to the third, multiply it by my second term. So 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. And then my variables, h to the third will pair up with h to the second because they're both h's. So I'm going to add the exponents. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then the other two letters, g and f, I'm just going to copy them down, f and g. It doesn't really matter what order the letters are in. Typically, you're going to see them in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down for completion's sake. Minus 24 f, g, 
h to the fifth. Typically, that's how you're going to see your answer. It's called a, you know, a cleaner version of the answer, but this is what it is. One question I get asked a lot is, how do you know whether it's negative or positive in the middle? And so typically what I do is I just, I take whatever the middle symbol is, like negative, and I attach it to the number next to it. So it's a negative 8. And then I know my rules of multiplication. If you multiply a positive times a negative, I get a negative. So I just include that in my answer, you know, negative 24, whatever. If it's a positive times a positive, it's obviously positive. If it's a negative times a negative, it becomes a positive. So if I say the answer out loud, you know, positive 24 and write whatever symbol it is, it just kind of works itself out and gives you the right symbols. So I hope that helps you out when you come to multiplying polynomials. We're going to take a look at another type in my next video on the FOIL method. So make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.